Hey, 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 welcome to Credit Makes Sense with Ned Silva, the frugal creditista, where we answer your questions about money, credit, and everything in between. Super excited to be with you guys, be here with you guys today. And I want to start off this particular segment talking and thanking you guys for all of your kind words and prayers and support. Um, as I was having my mother here visit me and who became ill, it was definitely a stressful situation. And I thank you guys for all of your kind words and even the suggestions to help when she goes back home in Illinois, those of you who are nursing, uh, in the nursing industry and who have home health agency who offered to just go in and check on her. So I appreciate and love you guys so much for that. So thank you. You have no idea who I am. <laughs> Again, I'm Natsiva, the Frugal Credinista. I own m &H Financial Services. Where we help women and couples over 30 to create custom credit solutions so they can crush their financial goals. Also run the amazingbomb.com online school, membership community, credit on fire. We help our students to master their money, destroy their debts, and soar their credit scores so they can be then leveraging it to create wealth. So we're talking credit care, budget, debt elimination plans, how to purchase your home the right way, how to purchase your car the right way, how to invest in real estate, how to open up your own business, how to invest in tax liens, side hustles, and so much more. Or if you're part of my free community, Credit Makes Sense, where we teach you how to repair, restore, rebuild, and transform your credit scores. Hey, partner, hey! Uh, welcome, 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 and I left all of those resources below. So let's take our first question. I do like to answer it verbatim, and we are talking about uh, mortgages and the FICO score. So the question is, I saw I have three credit scores just from Experian alone. How do I really know if these scores are accurate if lenders are allegedly looking at different scores other than FICO 8, and how do I actually know when is the right time to apply for a mortgage? So yes, you have 65 different versions of FICO right now. And next year, when the Ultra FICO comes out, you're gonna have even more. And that's what's used in some form or fashion in the marketplace today. Then you have the Vantage score. Then you have the uh, Consumer Educational score. Then you have other different uh, companies or consumer reporting agencies that score you in different ways. So you have hundreds of different ways, including custom scoring, uh, credit scoring program that companies create in their own system. So yeah, you're going to have different uh, credit scores no matter what, because they aren't designed for us and we were never, it was never designed for us to be able to understand them or even see them until some laws have passed not too long ago. And so everything that's dealing with the credit industry, the credit uh, scoring industry is all tailored to be understood and utilized by companies. And so back to your, back to your question about the market in industry, no, they did not use the, um, FICO 8 score. FICO 8 is typically used in auto industry and the banking industry, just off the top of my head. Auto, banking, and hmm, those are the main two I can think of. You can think of some more because I know I have some uh, credit professionals who watch my videos. Hey! <laughs> Post them below because I can't think of them right now. At any rate, the mortgage companies use uh, FICO versions 2, 4, and 5. And those are some older and more stricter versions of the FICO scoring model. And those are the ones that they've been rocking with for a while. And that's the ones they're going to keep rocking with um, until the foreseeable future. So we'll see if some things change. And so these, as I said, are more stricter. And just to add to this even more, yes, they're going to go by a different version and a more stricter version of your FICO scoring model, right? But they can also, being that FICO is like a software, they can also customize it a little bit more to include some of their lending guidelines, their personal lending guidelines. And if you've ever applied for a mortgage and you know one lender can accept X, Y, and Z, another lender can accept something completely different. And it's one of the reasons why I always advise you guys to shop around, especially within, I would say the first 14 days, just to make sure you're choosing the right one that fits your unique financial profile, right? Um, yes, I know some industries give you like up to 45, but remember I said the FICO um, mortgage industry goes by a more stricter, algorithm. So you want to make that time frame as short as possible. So when you're ready to rock and roll, have the lenders that you want to check out um, in a list. The best way I always say is referrals, not just from your realtor, but also individuals whom you know who have recently purchased in your area. So now, how do you know if you are ready? You have to prepare. One of the first things, and I even have some more videos here, where I literally walk you through how to begin preparing. I also have a free challenge, and more importantly, my full credit uh, claim my keys masterclass on how to prepare financially for your class inside of credit on fire so if ever you want to take advantage of that dollar trial i would do it then it's not only a credit thing but it's a money thing it's a savings thing it's seeking um down payment assistance programs out 
So it's a kind of montage of all of that. And you'll know when you're ready. I know a lot of people say, well, you can buy a 580. I mean, who wants to? That interest rate is so freaking high. And yes, you can refinance, but everybody's saying that this economy is not going to remain as stable as it is as of, the, as of the date of this video. You want to come through with an even uh, with a higher credit score from the from jump, because what happens is, and this happened in about 2006 and 2007, is people bought into bought a home or bought a piece of property with a lower credit score, thinking I'll just refinance in six months to a year to two years. And what happened, months down the line, the whole lending industry guidelines requirement changed. So they were stuck in this really sucky interest rate or 80-20 loan or even an arm, and there was no way for them to refinance because the entire guidelines that they were thinking about from jump shot up, and it made them completely ineligible to be able to do a refinance at all. So I'm always advising now that you should be coming in from jump with like 640. I mean, bump the 580 to the 629. Come in with like 640 plus and do what you need to do in order to maintain that. Make us, uh, your savings a number one priority. Believe it or not, credit repair is not the main thing, the number one, at least for me and a lot of the um, realtors that I uh, am affiliated with. That's not the number one reason why people are denied a loan. It's because of not having down payments or their debt to income ratios are too high. That's mainly your debt is too high. And um, knowing the lending requirements, and that's really what I teach you all in the um, Claim My Keys Masterclass. So I'm going to actually leave that dollar link below, because if you're looking to rock out and make use of that, then do it then. Uh, let me make sure I answered the other part of your question here. Uh, I think that's it. I think we're good. <laughs> Why not answer your question? I made sense of some things. So they're not allegedly looking at another FICO A score, honey. They are not looking at the FICO A score at all. That is not even... Um, the FICO scoring model that they're using. So if you want to understand the model that they use, I actually have a rather lengthy um, in the Claim My Keys Masterclass, just really breaking down the FICO mortgage industry option score. So you can know what they look at the most, how you can structure your credit profile so that when you go into a lender, you want to pass their automated underwriting system. You don't want to go on a manual. We ain't about that life. You want to pass the automated, you want all the check marks to be in green, and all you got to do is submit your little documentation saying that your application is right. And when I say little, I mean little. I meant little on purpose, and you want a smooth pass. Because once you come in with a 580 or anything under 620 or the, even whatever that lender's uh, cap is, like they said, we don't accept anything under 620. We don't accept anything under 600. We don't accept anything under 580. You're going to go through a manual process. You're going to go through a more stressful process. You're going to go through where you have to submit everything under the sun, and they're going to keep requesting document after document after document, scrutinizing every little thing, and that's when the stress comes in. We don't want that, partner. We're not about that life. So I'll leave the link for you below to join the um, Play My Keys Masterclass. You can get started for just $1 for a seven-day trial, and hopefully this will help you uh, claim them keys to them new homes. I said plural. You might, you might do an investment. I have an investment property class in there too. You might do plural. <laughs> All right, if you have any questions for me, the Frugal Credit Nisa for our next Credit Mason segment, you can send them to social, S-O-C-I-A-L at mnhfinancialservices.com, social at mnhfinancialservices.com. And I did leave the link below for that as well. See you later.